How you guys doing? It's Mel from the Less Lethal Coalition. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me today. Now, I got a special surprise that I wasn't expecting until the first week of June. Today is May 28th, and USPS just knocked at my door with this gift from Modern Combat Sports. Don't call the ATF on me. These are not live grenades. These are just props from World War II. They have been neutered, okay? Both of them. Do not try to get me in trouble. We're all less lethal over here. All right, let me shut up and get to it. What's in the box? We got our card from these guys. Thank you for printing Bob. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. All right, what's in this box? Walter. This is the Walter PPQ 43 caliber. And when you get this, you're gonna have to snip this zip tie right here to get it open. Snap these open. Ready? Y'all ready? Oh my goodness. This is a sweet looking gun. This is a sweet looking gun. It comes with your spring for your rubber balls. We'll get to that in a minute. I got the ammo too. This actually came before the uh, inside waistband Kydex holster that I ordered. I wanted to, uh, I was going to save all of it. The holster, the ammo, all of that. I wanted to cover all of that in one shot, but as soon as this came, I just couldn't resist myself. I'm getting ready to get to the meat and potatoes in just a second, but I want to talk about this. From what I'm hearing, this ammo right here is supposed to be some of the best 43 cal rubber steel ball slash ammo you can find for these guns. As far as self-defense, less lethal defense, we'll see when I get around to taking this outside to practice with it. I wish I knew the name of these guys. I could give them the respect that they deserve, but um, I guess their name is 43 Cal Rubber Steel Balls. Shout out to 43 Cal Rubber Steel Balls. I know you guys want to see the gun, and again, I'm sorry, but I want to talk about this ammo for just a second. I'm curious. Pardon me. I'm curious about stopping power. Granted, this will put an eye out, but the last thing I want to do is back this out when I'm in a jam and shoot somebody and just piss them off. I'm listen. I love my FSC, but I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to shit on this gun just yet. I haven't seen what it can do, but at 43 caliber, I'm just not convinced that this is. Uh, substantial enough to do half as much damage as .68 Grimberg. These are the kings of stopping power and stopping mother. Other than a live X round, which I'm gonna cover, I'm probably gonna do a mashup between Grimberg and live X rounds, the most dangerous rounds that you can find in the less lethal realm would be between Grimberg and pepper ball with the live X rounds, hands down. It doesn't get much more dangerous than this. All right, so I got my flash on. I wanna go over some things with this gun. The first thing you're gonna notice if you are a gun enthusiast slash you love Walther for whatever reason, shout out to Carl Walther, okay? They knew what they were doing with these grips. It's just something about these grips that makes this gun feel at home in your hand. And I want to give Humorex, I believe that's Humorex that made this. And T4E is some kind of a subdivision of Humorex. But this is Humorex T4E version of your Walther PPQ. And they have all of the trademarks right where they're supposed to be. They nailed this. This is an A+. Is that German? I don't know, don't quote me. Don't come up here trying to be a history teacher. I like this trigger guard, how it's wide. If I had to make a safe assumption, I would say this is made for uh, during war times in colder weather regions, and they would have thick gloves, similar to the uh, Heckler and Conscious. You got a little extra room in here in this trigger guard to get your fat little fingers in there with those gloves so you can keep warm in that snow. So I'm assuming that's why the trigger guard is extra wide. There's a lot of play in there. All right. Release here. 
typical place for it. I don't think it's ambidextrous. It's not. It's not. We got our warning here. Ear and eye protection and all that foolishness. T4E 43 cal. We got our slide. Slides halfway back. Let's just clip out of here. Now this gun takes, I believe this is 12 gram CO2. I gotta order some of that. And it fits your 43 caliber paintball. It's a paintball marker, so it's gonna take your paintball ammo. But I got these. I don't wanna play paintball. I don't care about paintball at all. I mean, I'll go play to sharpen up my militant skills, but I don't really care for paintball. I got these pretty much to be out and about on the town. If I need it, I will use it. I don't wanna have to use it, but I will. Hope I don't have to. That kind of thing. Just to, just, it's a small, but this is a deterrent. Now, one thing I've heard about this ammunition is that these balls here are substantially smaller than your other 43 caliber ammo that goes into this magazine. And I've read a lot of complaints. I'm about to figure that out for myself. I also want to know how many we can fit in this magazine here. But so far, I'm impressed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They nailed this. So if somebody sees this on your hip, they're going to know to leave you alone in line at that gas station because you're not the one. You will shoot them. I was able to get nine rubber steel balls into this magazine, and I think that's more than enough. I probably should have did some research. This looks like a... What is this? Again, help me out. Get down in the comments. Let me know what this is. What is this? So your 12 gram CO2 is going to go in here. And the bottom of this magazine, all I did was just kind of slid that to the left. And you can use an Allen key to tighten and engage the CO2. And once that's punctured, you just snap it back into place, load the magazine into the marker, and it's pretty much ready to go. This is a half slide here. So right here, I'll just, you always want to keep your fingers out of here when you're cocking this because it could pinch your skin and mess you up fairly bad. You'll be pissed off the rest of the evening. You don't want that. Always got to be careful. Treat these as if they're real firearms because uh, they are still dangerous, even though they're less lethal. It's still dangerous, so you have to uh, you gotta just act like you got some sense. It's got a nice tactical look to it. I could picture wearing like a Desert Storm camo outfit or something with this hanging out of a holster or a little military tactical vest. I can see this in a tactical vest holster. It'll look really sweet. Now, another thing I noticed about this is under here, you can mount your flashlights. And that's all the more reason to go out and get this. If you're one of those tack guys that's in the stuff like that, this is the perfect gun for you. Made sure I unloaded it and cleared it before I show you this part. Nice, scary looking barrel. Anyone this is pointed at, they're gonna comply with your demands. And when I say they'll comply with your demands, I'm leaning more towards leave me alone type of demands instead of robbing people. Don't rob people, okay? Don't commit any crimes with these. Just be a good citizen. Now, I'm not sure if, uh... I wish Greenberg made ammo for this gun then I would be absolutely sold on the stopping power. But like I said, I haven't shot it. So I don't know where my faith stands as far as in these, but we'll see. But so far, it looks to be a great marker from all the videos that I've seen and everything I've read about it. It seems to be a great gun and people love it. So I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to go out and use it and show you guys what it fires like and, um, give you my thoughts on it. I'm going to always give you an honest review. See my rear sights here and my front sight. Get a nice accurate shot each and every time, especially with a tack light under here. I can, oof. Yeah, you can do some things with this. I'm excited. I'm glad to have this Walther and uh, Umarex coming together to do this. They nailed this gun. If you're a gun enthusiast, you can look at the grooves in this grip and you can just know that they really did their thing. This is this is spot on. It's a 
great looking piece right here, if I do say so myself. Picked this up on Amazon for about $189, and it was at my door fairly fast because it did not have Prime. So I was expecting this, I think the second or third of June. And um, I want to shout out Modern Combat Sports. I'm going to make a safe assumption that this is the um, seller for this marker. And they're putting out some good products. They got a nice little inventory over there if they're selling something like this. I like how they cut the fluff out of here and just got straight to the chase and gave you what you needed. Um, I would have liked an instruction manual because, um, yeah, I've had problems with my markers in the past. Luckily, I've had instruction manuals. But I don't think I'll be needing one with this because this marker is not really made to be taken apart. So it's like not too much maintenance with this as you would with your mill sigs and your TCPs and FSCs and other first strike long guns and so on and so forth. Overall, it's a pretty decent marker, especially for its price point at 189. Umarex really nailed it as far as the trademarks, the weight, the feel, the comfortability in the hand, as far as the grips, everything's just where it's supposed to be. And I think it's a phenomenal piece. I think it's well worth the 189. Now join me next week here on the Less Lethal Coalition. I'll be unboxing a Kydex holster for this weapon. Take care. And be safe out there. Don't do anything I wouldn't do.